The Electoral Commission has rejected the NDC's request for a live telecast of a planned meeting to discuss challenges with the provisional voters register list. The opposition NDC has had cause to raise complaints over the current voters' role after the Electoral Commission by itself admitted to wrong voter transfers by its officials and the bloating of the provisional re register. According to the NDC, the discrepancies on its a warrant to, uh, for a live telecast to aid the process of a free, transparent election that, as we understand now, has been rejected by the EC. Now, let's walk you through the basis of the EC's uh, rejection. Now, the commission stands in read readiness uh, to hear from the NDC the discrepancies it says it, it has identified with the provisional voters register. The AC says the identification of discrepancies by the NDC is not a new phenomenon. The commission says it absolutely is committed to free, fair, transparent, peaceful and credible elections. However, the commission does not accept the proposal of a live telecast or broadcast of the meeting and says that our team is ready to meet with the NDC on the agreed time. Let's go on Zoom now and speak to NDC's Deputy Director of IT, Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer. Dr. Computer, thank you for joining us on News 360 this evening. Yes, thank you very much, dear. The Electoral Commission says that it is ready to hear uh, what you have found out in, in, a, in a live broadcast. Is that not satisfactory? Yeah, it's not satisfactory. Why is the Electoral Commission running away from their own motto? which is transparency. Why are they running away from transparency? That document, the register is a public document. It's not a secret document. It's not a classified document. It's a public document. That is why they exhibited it. So if we have seen discrepancies, we've written to you, we've agreed that we should come and meet after your initial dragging of feet. And then we also said, okay, why not let the public come along with us? as we are presenting to you, so that the public will get to know that we are not just fooling them, we are not blowing hot air. We, we mean business. That is why we're talking about it. So why are they running away from it? In any case, they held a press conference and accepted all the problems there in, in the register. When we said it initially, they were denying it. They came up with a press statement that their register was robot credible and can be used for purpose. Then who forced them to go and hold a press conference to now accept that Whatever the NDC was saying was credible. And now they want to meet us. So why are they running away from transparency? Our, our intention is to just engender transparent process so that the public will get to know the document that they are going to use to vote come December 7th. That is all that. So I'm surprised the Electoral Commission is now choosing opacity over transparency. And that's what, that has been what they have been touting, transparency, transparency. And transparency, transparency is tearing them, and they are running away from transparency. But, Dr. Computer, the commission is saying that this is not the first time your party has identified discrepancies, so they don't understand why you're asking for a live broadcast. Dear, this is the first time we have seen massive irregularities, massive anomalies in an exhibition exercise. Since 92, we've been doing this exercise. We've never seen a situation where massive illegal transfer of voters from one constituency to another without their knowledge. This is completely unacceptable. This is the first time. It has never happened. Look at their response to us. They decided to, to hide away the transfer issue. Why haven't they talked about the transfer? Who told you any time we do exhibition, you see issues of transfer, people's name be illegally transferred. How? Because transfer, you cannot do it without appearing before a returning officer in the consequence. And so if you are not see that your name has been moved from one consequence to another, that's illegal. That is why they interdicted one of their offices. So, and so this is the first time we are seeing such a massive uh, 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 distortion of data of electoral commission. That is why we want this tra transparent process so that the public will get to understand what is in the register and what led to that. That so, is what we are just trying to do. So if the, if the EC insists on not having that live broadcast, are you willing to meet the commission? Or yes, not? we will meet the commission tomorrow at 2 p.m. We are ready. We are going there with our own equipment. We are going with our 
our, our projectors and laptops are meant to do their presentation. But we will find innovative means of getting you this media to cover the program. Right. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is the NDC's Deputy Director of IT.